Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. More on that later in the video. Good morning, happy Monday. Today we are filming at home. We're back in the basement print shop where it all started. I feel like I haven't gotten to film here in months, so that just means we have plenty of work to do. To start out, Prusa sent me another tool head for the Prusa XL. And so to get us started in the video, we're gonna be setting that up, installing it, and getting a fun test print running. Let's get right to that. They sent this to me back in July when my son fell and broke his leg. But because of that, I was not able to get anything done here at the house really. It was just shipping and packaging and orders, whatever had to happen. So this has kind of been sitting for a little bit, driving me crazy. I've been really wanting to get into this, but today's the day where it's finally happening. Okay, so inside the box, we've got the tool head and some parts, I guess, that will help me get everything up and running. We have some more gummy bears. They always send the goodies. And then in box number two, we have a bunch of parts and things. It looks a bit intimidating, but I believe that we can get this done. I do have my like handbook thing here, but I feel like a video or something might be the best move for this. I'm going to the computer. Begin assembly. The first step I think is gonna be disassembling the single tool head. Apparently that's what the instructions are telling me. So I'm gonna slide this forward so I can get better access to it all. I'm also gonna make sure it's turned off and not gonna electrocute me. All right, I got that removed. Okay, now we are moving back to the front of the printer. Okay, and set this aside because we will use it later. Now I need all of these parts. Next, we're working on this tool changer piece. And this cable goes through there. Yes, it's through. Okay, this part, the tool changer, is finally complete, according to that. And it did say it was time to eat gummy bears, so it's time to eat a couple gummy bears. I've earned it. All right. What's next? Not that big, but that'll work. It said move the X all the way to the front. And we'll put this in the middle. This clips back on. Oh, nice. Okay, I understand a little bit more now. We are attaching the docks to the back of the printer. Okay. Yeah! All right, I got everything ready to go, and I'm going through the calibrations. And so right now I am at dock one calibration, and it says I need my multi-wrench. I had to find a tiny screwdriver, but I finally found something that would work to get these pins out. Apparently it's doing the parking test. Okay, that one's done. We gotta do the same thing. I gotta take out the pins. Dock successfully calibrated. All right, it's going through some more calibrations. In the meantime, months ago, I prepared this wall of rep racks in here in the actual printer room. And I finally have the pipes. And so while that printer is finishing going through its calibrations before we run it and test out these new to dual tool heads, I wanna get these pipes cut and installed so that I can start cleaning up and get this room back in working order. Let's see here. 80 inches, okay, that was... Not the easiest task, but 80 inches. I think I remember that from last time. While I'm cutting these pipes, let's talk about Squarespace, the sponsor of today's video. Squarespace helps you build a website with very little experience needed. Thanks to their new AI-powered design intelligence, anyone can build a beautiful, personalized website. Squarespace also makes checkout seamless for your customers. They accept credit cards, PayPal, Apple Pay, and they also allow customers the option to buy now and pay later with Afterpay. Squarespace also helps you sell your products with an online store. 
They allow you to sell physical items, digital content, and you can even sell services like design consults. Whatever you're selling, Squarespace can handle it. So head to squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash macymakes3d to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Now, let's get back to work. I made it through six of them, and that's actually pretty tough. So I'm gonna get these six up on the wall and see where I'm at, and then give myself a little bit of a break, come back if I need to and finish these last two but I'm ready to put some filament on the wall, so let's go do that. I got these first six on. I might as well go ahead and cut the last two. I feel like it would be a job unfinished if I just left this bottom row undone. So I'm gonna cut those, put them on the wall, and then it's time to add some filament. Sweet! Okay, now I can start adding filament. And I have no rhyme or reason for why I'm putting things places right now. I'm just putting them up here where it's convenient. That is all of the filaments out of the floor, except for the tiny little run out rolls that I need to find something to do with. Probably gonna print some spiders as we head into Halloween, but that might be a project for a different day. Not today. We still have a couple things we need to do. I gotta get a couple bookmarks packaged and ready to ship out. I need to rerun a couple printers. And then whether or not the content shows it, this has been a very eventful, busy day. Uh, and we still need to run the Prusa. It's done with this calibration, so let's go do that now. Then we'll package the bookmarks. A while back, my mom asked for one of 3D Gob's giraffes printed in purple and yellow. And so that's what I'm planning to print first with this dual tool head test print. I told her I wanted to wait until I got the two heads installed because it's a lot of color changes and it's kind of like a tall, it's a giraffe, so it's tall. And if I just used a typical bamboo or an AMS style printer with a single nozzle, that would be a lot of waste making it any bigger than it already was. So I'm gonna test this out. It's only two colors. And so we're going with purple and yellow. Um, this one maybe? This Elegoo matte PLA, I think that'll look really good with this. Okay, so it's time to load some filament. Let's see how this works with two tool heads. Tool one is the current. All right, filament's coming out. Yes. All right, inserting filament. I did it! It's printing! I am gonna have three of 3D Gob's giraffe bodies at 300% at this time tomorrow, as long as everything goes to plan. Um, I'll have to print the head on a normal printer because it's a four color design. Um, but even so, I'm excited. This is gonna be awesome. It's gonna save unpurged filament and time. Ah, this was a full day's work getting this set up and changed over to the dual tool head system, but it's done now and I'm excited to be able to use it going forward. Okay, so now I need to go clear a printer so I mentioned in my last video that my business partner for the Rockets, I'm going to MIT this weekend, I'm going to Boston to help them out at their science festival. And you can't sell anything, so we can't sell any of the Rockets. So what we decided to do is make some maker chips. So this is the brand, or this is the guy's logo, Marimo Labs. This plate, I'm printing these on the Bamboo Cool Plate Super Tack, and boy are they super tack, man. These things stick so well. I have such a hard time getting things off the plate, but it's for good reason because look, the QR code on the back comes out so clean every single time. I have no issues with things sticking to this plate. I love them, but this is Maker Chip, his logo on the front and the QR code on the back. And basically the plan is just to have a bunch of these chips and hand them out. The QR code goes to his website where if parents have a good time, their kids have a good time with launching these rockets at the festival, they can learn more, they can buy one for themselves, they can print one 
for themselves at the website at the QR code. So it'll be a good little bit of advertisement. I'm storing them all in this little storage device, storage container. I think it's by K2 Kevin on Maker World. Pretty cool. We have one for Marmo and then I have my Macy Makes Maker Chip with my Linktree QR code on the back. So we're coming fully stocked at the festival with Maker Chips galore. And I'm telling you, getting these off of this plate is a work of art, my goodness. Okay, get this plate loaded back up, rerun that again. And then up here is actually the bookmarks that I need to ship out today. I sold a couple pickle bookmarks. And since I've already got this one loaded too, I'm gonna go ahead and run that one again as well because I don't have anything else that really needs to go here right now. Okay, so finally, the last thing I need to take care of today. It's been a long day, actually. I was not expecting this Prusa tool changer to last as long as it did, but the last thing I need to do is get these bookmarks packaged and taken down to the mailbox. Um, these are one of the few things I still can ship from home because they don't require a lot of packaging. It's just some bubble mailers, some cardboard, which I have plenty of, and some uh, tissue paper. Okay, fish one. And this one needs a tassel. I keep all my tassels in a box and I have so many of the purple because I had one bookmark that I sold a lot of randomly. Um, so I had to buy a lot of purple in bulk, but for this pickle one, let's see what color it shows. It shows like a bright green. That one looks good. All right, and with that, that is the last thing that I had to take care of today. I'll walk these down to the mailbox in just a second to make sure that they go out today. But besides that, my day's done, and it was a good one. We got the Prusa XL turned into a dual head, dual tool head printer, and that was the majority of the day. But it was really cool, I'm glad it's done, and I'm excited to get to use it now. We got the rep racks finished. That has been looming. I have needed that to happen for so long. Now I can finish cleaning up that room in there, get it looking a lot better. And really, I'm just glad to have my time back. So Henry's back in school. I get my mornings and my afternoons back. Lots of work can be done now. I'm very excited. Coming up in the next few videos, I've got some cool stuff planned. Fulv just released his newest build, his Dracula castle. So I will be tackling that. I've got the filament sitting at my feet. So that is a video that will be coming out very, very soon. And then of course, we've got some fun stuff planned heading into Halloween. We'll do our Halloween video fun prints. We'll do some Thanksgiving stuff and even Christmas. This end of year is gonna be phenomenal. You don't wanna miss it. Make sure you're subscribed. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to my Patreon members for being here, for supporting me. I could do none of this without you guys. That's all we got for this one. I'll see you guys in the next one.